This isn't a video that I ever expected to make, but I wanted to pay my own little tribute. Bray Wyatt, uh, unfortunately, is no longer with us, Triple H, and now the WWE. Et al. has confirmed that Bray Wyatt died earlier on today. We don't have the reasons yet, and I'm not going to sit here and speculate. I'm instead just going to uh, share moments of grief and celebrate moments of joy because Bray Wyatt was a storyteller he created moments of joy in 2014 I returned to viewing WWE to watching wrestling I left it in 2001 right after the Survivor Series of the Invasion and because we moved across the country I was a teenager I was a well, I wasn't even a teenager at that point I didn't have access to wrestling so it wasn't until I moved to my current home, uh, set up my internet, plugged in my PS4 and saw the WWE Network as an app there um, that I got back into it. And it was Battleground 2014. I watched Kevin Owens versus John Cena and I thought, oh, this John Cena guy, not bad. I watched Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar and I thought, oh, this Seth Rollins guy, he's quite good. And I watched Bray Wyatt walk to the ring to take on, I think it was Roman. Um, it might have been shame. I don't know who he fought, who he wrestled, because it didn't matter to me. It was Bray Wyatt I was focused on. I watched him walk to the ring, and I watched when it all got dark, and he had the fireflies and the lantern, and you could not react to Bray Wyatt the same way you did everyone else. You couldn't take the picture because it was dark. You were using your phone to be a firefly. It was pageantry. It was creativity. It was it was magic. The era of Wyatt when he first became the champion at Elimination Chamber. That was my personal favorite pardon me moment. I'm wearing the shirt. I'm wearing the shirt. We saw The Fiend, a character that we hadn't seen since the days of an unstoppable Undertaker. Since, well, the Boogeyman, but let's not even go there. We saw the feud of Daniel Bryan, the tag team with Matt Hardy. The, the return, which was huge. And it just filled me with so much hope. That where we were going next was going to be great. I expect there will be a tribute show made out of tomorrow's Smackdown. I definitely expect there will be some sort of tribute to All In as well. This is a man who affected a lot of wrestling. Who reached out and connected. and He really connected with me. I'm very sorry... To state that Bray Wyatt died on the 24th of August in 2023. He leaves behind a family, a partner, children, brother, a father. And he leaves behind a lot of fans who love him don't know if I'm supposed to say loved but it's not that I loved him I love him he got me back into wrestling helped reshape my life Godspeed Wyndham Rotunda you will be missed